Okay, hello everyone again. Uh, so it seems that now we are ready to start uh, today's webinar. My name is um, Guillermo Sanchez and I will be showing you how to trade um, or how to use um, the MT5, the MetaTrade 5. Um, before we get started, um, if you guys have any question, uh, you can please drop it on the uh, chat window. Um, yeah, I can see that, uh, yes, Samir, uh, the session will be in English. Uh, we do have another one in uh, in Arabic as well, but that would be a uh, different time, uh, usually on our website. Um, if so, if you would like to have that in uh, Arabic, uh, just, uh, yeah, you can join that session uh, whenever that comes. But yeah, this one will be in English, okay? No problem. Okay, so now uh, let's start with, uh, let me share, share the screen. So you can see the platform now. Okay, can, can you guys see the platform, right? Okay, perfect. So, okay, so uh, this is uh, how it looks uh, as soon as you open up the uh, MT5. Um, the first thing you need to be aware of is uh, how to well, lo log in, right? Uh, the way you do that, if you go here on, on file or top left hand, hand side, and then you go all the way down to uh, log into trade account. Uh, if you click there, this uh, window will pop up. Um, in here, uh, obviously with, uh, here with CFI, we will provide you by email uh, the login details. So you will have the login number and the password where once you put it in, um, you will be asked to create your own password. And then you have the server. Uh, with the server, um, you have to be a bit careful, especially if you have a Temon account and a Life account. Uh, simply because as you can see here, uh, it says um, CFI Trader Demo. Uh, but if this login number, let's say for a live account, uh, you won't be able to log in. So just make sure uh, you go uh, the right uh, login number and also the right server. So when you uh, fit that in, uh, just click OK. And this, uh, well, it will be already uh, logged in into the platform. Um, also, another way to make sure that you have logged in, um, if you look at the bottom uh, on the right hand side here, uh, you can see a uh, number moving. Uh, if that is on red, uh, that means that uh, you haven't logged in yet. So uh, just make sure you have the right server, the right login number, and well, also the, the password that usually you can copy and paste from the confirmation email. Okay, so uh, the first thing, uh, as you can see here, uh, on the uh, left hand side with the market watch table, uh, this is how it will look. And usually, uh, let me just uh, hide this for one second. Uh, usually, uh, you will have only a few symbols uh, that you're going to be able to see. If you would like to add all the symbols, uh, you simply right click. And this is the option here you have this says um, show all. And then you will have all the um, products or instruments that are available to trade um, not on the MT5, but with CFI. So you will have everything there. And um, also, um, if you are looking to see one specific instrument, you can also either right click again and select symbols. Or if you see this icon on top here, right behind tools, uh, you can also uh, do it through there, it might be easier. And then here you will have all the um, the symbols uh, that you can trade uh, with us. Okay, so you can simply just look at it. And then uh, usually, uh, if it's not on the market watch window, uh, it would show like this. And then all you have to do is uh, double click on the um, icon, and then it will show. And then just click OK, and they will appear here on this um, market watch table. Okay, so this is a uh, very simple. So now let's get on with uh, how you place a trade. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in trading the euro dollar. So this one right here. So in, in order to um, 
open the auto window. All you have to do is say, same as before, right click on the um, instrument you're looking to trade, in this case uh, with a euro dollar. And then you have all these options and you can see here uh, the new order uh, option. But just before uh, we go into this, I wanna also show you one thing which is very important to know before you start putting your orders. Uh, which is this little option here called specification. Uh, if we click there, uh, you will see pretty much a description uh, for that particular product. You have this option for every instrument. And in here, well, you can see uh, the contract size, which is obviously in the case of the euro dollar uh, would be the standard one, uh, which is 100,000 euros. As you can see here, you can see the spread, which is not fixed. Um, also, uh, well, the money currency, uh, the profit currency. And then we go a bit, we scroll down a little bit more. Um, you can see uh, all this information as well. Um, uh, might be uh, important as well for your uh, knowledge. And then obviously here uh, with the swap as well, um, you're gonna be holding um, overnight um, positions. Uh, this is the uh, the swap uh, or the rollover, uh, which is in points. So if you're looking to get that in pips, uh, simply uh, in this case with the uh, you know, four, four euros, right? Right, that you use, um, so if you're looking to trade the standard contract, uh, it would be four euros. If you're looking to trade uh, the mini contract, for example, then it would be uh, 40 cents. Uh, with the uh, mini micro would be then uh, four cents, okay? So this is information, this only applies for, uh, obviously with the rollover, it depends on the, uh, each individual circumstances. But if that's your case, yeah, you have that information on here. And then also what you wanna see, what are the uh, trade sessions? Uh, you will also see it over here. Uh, just bear in mind that these uh, hours are based on the uh, server hour, which is this one over here that you can see right next to Market Watch. So for example, we are here in London, so uh, basically three hours behind. So it depends on your location. Um, the trade hours are always gonna be based on the server time. So make sure uh, you are aware of that too, okay? So, okay, this is uh, pretty much everything with the description. So let's now move on with the uh, new order window. So when you select it, um, this, uh, well, the, this window will pop up and you have, uh, well, all these options, um, as you can see here with the symbol, just make sure you got the right one and the right product you are looking to trade. Um, also, uh, you have the two types of orders. One is a market execution, which essentially is uh, the price, uh, well, the price executed at market. So just uh, as you can see here, with the, either you're looking to sell with the, at this price, if you're looking to buy with the, at this price here. And that's it, plain and simple. Um, also, you have the stop loss option. Uh, which essentially uh, prevents you from losing more money for that particular position. So in here, uh, it will be based on your risk management, uh, basically saying, uh, well, how much are you looking to risk for this particular position? Okay, so then obviously uh, you don't have to type it all straight. You simply click either on the arrow here, up and down, with whichever you prefer to use. And it's already give you an idea where you want to put it. Uh, but with this one, uh, you have to be a bit careful uh, because obviously uh, you only put the stop loss uh, either up above the price or below the price, depending whether you're going to sell or you're going to buy. So let's say for example, if you're looking to buy uh, this, uh, let's say with a Euro dollar in this example, and I put my stop loss above the current market price, uh, I will simply won't be able to do it. So if, you, if I just give you here an example, it will show this invalid, okay? And that is because I put the stop loss in the wrong side. So I have to go, if I'm gonna go um, buy the position, I should um, put my stop loss right below uh, the current market price, okay? So in this case, let's say I just put it right here. And then once I click buy, uh, it should, um, hold on one second, what happened here?
Okay, now I don't know what happened before, but that's what it is. And then it will show in here in this uh, here at the bottom of the toolbox, toolbox uh, right? Say so we say straight, uh, you will see the current position. Um, if I open this a bit bigger, uh, you can see here uh, the time. And you also see the time where it was by uh, the, uh, the price, uh, what it was by at. Uh, you will see the stop loss as well. And also you see at the moment uh, the profit or loss that you are currently making for that particular position. Uh, obviously with the stop loss, as soon as, uh, let's say if the market hit this price, my position will then be automatically closed out, okay? So, yeah, so this is how, how we look when you open a position. Then also, let's say, for example, you want to modify your current uh, stop loss. You can simply select, right click, and then you have this option, uh, either modify or delete. Uh, you click that, and then you can just modify, for example, stop loss and um, things like that. So let me just give you an example. If I put the... Um, you also can put in points here. Uh, that is the option they give you once um, you try to modify it. And then you want to close the position because uh, let's say you're making some money. Uh, you can either click here on the X or you simply, uh, the option below where it says um, close position. And that's it. Okay, so it's that simple. Um, how to do it. Then uh, let's go back to the other window again uh, with the uh, Euro dollar. And let's go with the second type of order, which is pending order. Uh, with the pending order, it's basically, uh, you see, it is an order to be executed at a later time and at a specific price too, okay? And you have several type of pending orders where you can see here, uh, the first one is buy limit, but then you also have sell limit, buy stop, sell stop, buy stop limit, and sell stop limit, okay? So with buy limit order, uh, in here basically is where the price must be entered below the current market price, okay? And the reason why you would like to, let's say, put this type of strategy is because if you believe, for example, if you're looking here with the Euro dollar, the current price, and you're looking to buy, but you're not really convinced that the price will go, um, let's say, uh, will go up or it will still go down. But after getting uh, into a specific price, the one you believe that after reaching that price, I believe the market will then reverse. I go up, uh, upwards, uh, which obviously uh, that's what you're looking to do when you buy a position. Uh, you simply type, uh, select the buy limit order. Then on the volume, uh, you select uh, what contract size you want to, trade, uh, it could be the standard one. You can also put um, the zero uh, spot 10, which means the mini contract. And then in for the micro contract, you just put zero spot zero one, okay? So in this case, we're just gonna stick with the standard contract. So which is 100,000 euros. Then with the price uh, of the buy limit order, uh, as I mentioned before, it must be entered below the current market price. So as we can see here, the market at the moment, um, we have to just, again, click here and then just make sure it goes below uh, the current uh, price, okay? Because again, if you put that above, you we simply won't be able to, uh, you can see here to place the order, okay? So make sure uh, you got a uh, in the right place. And then once you select, uh, you put the price you are looking or you believe that after reaching that particular price, then the order will then become uh, available in the market, will they be opened. So just simply click on place. And if we go back to our toolbox, uh, you will see the order here, right here. Um, at the moment, obviously, because uh, the market hasn't reached that particular price, uh, nothing will happen. It's just gonna be there. Then it's up to you what you want to do with that order, whether you cancel it uh, later on or maybe after a few hours or maybe after a few days. If uh, the order hasn't been available yet, uh, you can either close it yourself or also 
uh, you can go to modify and then you can put here expiration. Uh, GTC means uh, good team council. It basically means that it's going to still be uh, the position we has no expired date until you cancel that position uh, or that order uh, yourself. Okay. Otherwise, you have other options. Uh, you want to cancel it today or a specific time or even a day. And then right here, you select the time and then once you do that, you modify, you want to do so. Otherwise, you can just put it as a GTC and that's it, okay? So in this case, uh, we're just gonna close this uh, pending order. And now we're gonna go back to the other pending orders. So, um, uh, so you know what they are for. So, so far uh, we have no question. Okay, perfect. So it seems very clear. So then with the second type of order with the sell limit order is basically is the opposite of buy limit order. Okay. So all you have to do is just put the uh, price um, above a uh, current market price. And that is exactly the same uh, thought. If you believe that after the market reaching that particular price, we reverse, um, and then you just put your um, you, your order as well, just as before. Just in this case, just make sure it is above um, the current market price, and then you have also you want to put your stop loss. Uh, also, with stop loss, just it has to be above. Uh, the sell limit order, okay? Because if you just put it here, you can see here below, uh, you won't be able to place the order. So just make sure uh, you have that. Um, it will be also up to you, right? Uh, how much are you looking to risk for that particular position? Just as same as uh, before with the uh, type of order uh, at market. Uh, so you have that option as well. And then uh, once you're happy with that, you just click and place just as before. And then it will show the uh, order placed on your toolbox okay now with the uh, buy stop order okay uh, with this one uh, it's basically uh, what it is is when you place the order you believe that the market will continue to rise after reaching a specific price okay so let's say for example at this uh, we're looking to buy now with the euro dollar I believe that the um, market will continue to go up after reaching a certain price, then all you have to do is just put the price above, uh, let's go back a little bit again. Um, all you have to do is, uh, again, same select uh, type of order, pending order, uh, buy stop, and then you put the price um, above the uh, current market price. Once that becomes available, then you can then place it. Uh, you can also put your stop loss. Uh, again, here with the stop loss has to be below um, the buy stop uh, order price, okay? Because if you put it up above, um, like if we do here in this case, as you can see, you won't be able to plus, place the trade. So just make sure you wanna put your stop loss is below um, the um, buy stop order price, okay? So again, same, same thing as before, uh, if you want to leave it as a GTC, uh, you just leave it like that, then you just place your order. Okay, so now let's move on with the uh, sell stop order is essentially the opposite, okay? So that is if you're looking to go um, short, um, but uh, you think that after reaching again a price, specific price, a market will continue to go in that direction, then you just place your order um below the current market price okay um, and then obviously with the stop loss just make sure you put it above that mark that price um, and then with the final two uh type of pending orders you have buy stop limit uh that with this one uh, i don't know if you noticed but now this uh option here just become uh, available um with this type of order basically uh you place it uh, above the current market price and uh, obviously with the uh, buy stop limit uh, you uh, place it below uh, current market price and you will have two prices to put okay so let's um, let's go back a little bit again let's make sure okay so here uh, if we go with our buy stop limit order 
uh, for the, the trade euro dollar, uh, one standard contract. All I have to do is uh, I just put my stop limit price. above and my price as well okay so in here as you can see i have two prices so with the stop limit price you have to be again like i mentioned before above current market price but with the uh other price just make sure you put it above two right because if you just put it right below your stop order your stop limit order uh, you basically won't be able to do so basically this is just a combination of the two previous uh pending order types okay with the um sell uh, buy stop order and buy limit order okay so it's a combination of these two and then basically what it is is you just put these two prices over here as you can see and then what's going to happen is once you place this order it will all get, get triggered once the car, the market price hit the order price, but it will only become available or will be an open position when the next price available would be below this price over here, the one spot 18.29.8. Because what happens if the market reaches the order price, which is one spot 18.28.4, but the but let's just say that the next price available will be above your price, um, in your order price, then with the, let's say one spot 1900, the order will not be executed, okay? And the reason why you would choose this type of order is just to give you um, a more precision, okay? A greater precision in executing the trade, okay? So this is the reason why you would like to uh, have this type of uh, order. So with this one, just be careful that you have to select two prices and the order will only get executed uh, between those two prices. If it, the next price available is not between those, um, then it will not be uh, executed and then you can either cancel it or just leave it, okay? So, and the same will happen with the buy stop limit order, okay? And you're basically the opposite. So uh, yeah, this is it with uh, the type of uh, pending orders and that you have available on the MT5. And all, this type of order obviously happens with every single instrument, okay? It's not just with the Euro dollar. Um, let's see if we have any questions so far. No, okay, perfect. So now uh, that we already know how to place a trade, now you're probably wondering about the chart that why why we cannot see a chart well the reason why is because you have to uh select it so in here just as uh, before we the how to open the new order window just right click on the instrument uh, let's say with this case with the euro dollar and you have this option here uh, chart window and this is how it, it will show by default okay so let's say if you don't like the colors on how the chart looks um, if you go to right click, uh, you can customize, uh, customize it um, yourself and uh, simply go to um, this option all at the bottom, uh, it's called properties. You click there, then you can uh, customize it as your preference. Um, you can put, uh, let's say, the colors of the uh, bar, uh, the candles as well. Uh, you can select that. And once you do that, uh, all you have to do is save it. One, you save it it's simply as, uh, you know, when you save a normal document uh, in your, in your um, computer or laptop. And one is saved, uh, all you have to do is go right click again on the chart. And this option that says template, um, you should see it here. In my case, it's temp1, that's how I name it. And once you click there, then we show uh, the, plaf, uh, the chart as you uh, wanted it. So, and also uh, you can have as many charts as you would like. Uh, obviously my recommendation is uh, maybe four charts at the same time would be enough. Otherwise just become too small and it's very, very difficult to read. Let's give you just an example uh, with the, um, the euro with the pound. Uh, it would show like this. So again, it's 
select how I want it with the colors and all that. And then also, you can see here, you cannot see it both at the same time. So you want to see them at the same time. All you have to go is up here with this option. So click there and you will have the two um, charts. Um, also, if you want that to be bigger, uh, we can just minimize a little bit this toolbox here, window here. And then uh, if you don't have to do all this manually. So you simply just click here again and the uh, platform we do, uh, we just adjust it uh, automatically uh, without you going through all the, uh, in, do the manually. Okay, and then, um, yeah, let's see another, let's put four charts so you guys have an idea how it looks. Uh, let's go with the um, footsie, uh, sorry. And there again, just click on the same and this is how it will look. And then let's put uh, Dow Jones as well, the chart. And this is how it will look. I think this is more than enough. Uh, obviously, I guess it will depend on the size of your screen. Uh, the bigger, obviously, uh, the better the view. But otherwise, uh, you have like a normal uh, 50 inches uh, laptop or screen. Uh, this is how it's going to look. Um, so, yeah, and then with, with the charts, um, then you have a few options. Okay, so let's just stick with the Euro dollar for one second. Um, as you can see here, um, you can select the, uh, let's say for example, you are looking to have some technical analysis on your chart. So all you have to do is um, right click. Uh, you can either go right click or you can, if it's easier as well, uh, you go all the way to the uh, top right next to view and where it says insert, uh, you have all the um, indicators uh, that you like you have plenty of indicators, so you can choose uh, whichever you would like. So let's say, for example, uh, well, one of the most common one, which is the um, moving average. So I just I have here the option, so I just selected it, and then uh, you put. Uh, for those of you who don't know what moving average moving average is, it's basically uh, an average of the last. Um, of the last days, so or let's say in this case, 50 days uh, closing prices, okay, uh, for the euro dollar in this case. Uh, just give me an idea of indication of any uptrend or downtrend uh, situation. So one, you just select the period and also the color. You can have put any color you prefer. You click OK, and then it would show here on the chart and then you can make obviously your uh, decision um, based on that or also for any analysis that you might like to use uh, you can also draw your own conclusions um, then you also have other uh, indicators uh, so for example i like using the parabolic sar uh, which essentially uh, stands for stop and reversal um, this type of indicator uh, pretty much helps you to determine uh, when a trade is ending uh, by just selecting some dots. So if I go here, uh, you will see the dots on the chart. Uh, you just give me an indication of any uptrend or downtrend situation. Uh, usually after three, four consecutive um, dots, it's pretty much a confirmation of either, let's say in this case, the three here is already giving you a confirmation of uptrend uh, situation. And then uh, conversely uh, with these three, consecutive dots and uh, it's giving a, a confirmation of a downtrend situation, okay? So you have all these plenty of indicators available uh, on the platform. And then obviously if you want to delete them, uh, you have two options. or so you either right click on the chart and go to indicator list, and then you simply select the one you would like to delete, or you can just go on top of the, um, right click on top of the indicator and you select delete indicator, okay? So this is how you put the indicators. Um, uh, as you can see, it's very simple. And then with the chart, that is pretty much it, okay? Um, obviously, uh, well, another thing, uh, which is a good thing about the MT5 compared to, for example, the MT4, is the time frames. So uh, usually, well, this one you can see here, this one at the moment, I'm using a one hour chart. 
but then you have plenty of more options. Um, the one already, let's say, set up by default, uh, you can see here on top of the, um, just above the uh, market watch table, um, the uh, one minute, five minutes, 15, half an hour, one hour, four hours, daily, weekly, and monthly. Uh, if you would like to use a different time frame, all you have to do is right click on the chart, um, and then here this option, uh, time frames and uh, you have uh, plenty of options as you can see here any minute basically uh, the same will happen for hours as well okay so that is uh, also another new features that meta quotes included on the uh, mt4 uh, mt5 sorry uh, so okay so this is it with the charts um, and now let's go back to the uh, at the bottom with the toolbox uh, in here, I'm just going to expand this a little bit. So as you already saw before, when I was uh, placing the trades, how it will appear in your toolbox right here on the way it says trade. Then uh, you have, as you can see here, you have uh, the balance. You have the balance, you have the equity and the free margin. And also, uh, let's say if I place an order, uh, let's just go quickly here. Uh, if I place order, another option will appear, which is uh, my margin and my margin level as well. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, well, margin we all know. Uh, in case you don't know, it's basically the minimum amount required to open a position. So it's basically, uh, you know, with the in this example with the euro dollar uh, with the standard contract uh, is uh, one hundred thousand euros. So uh, basically, the money is telling me how much I have to, I need to put on my money to open that particular position. Uh, this will be also be based on your leverage. So in this account, we have a one to 100 leverage. So then for opening um, my 100,000 euros position, uh, I only will need a 1,000, um, 1,182 dollars with 48 cents um, this is in dollars okay uh, my account currency is in dollars as you can see right here so obviously if your account would be euros then with the uh, a bit lower as well the amount okay so yeah so this is how we look so basically the balance is basically how much you have available at the moment um equity uh it basically represents the value of your current account so that is your account balance plus any realized or unrealized uh, profit or loss, no, sorry, unrealized profit or loss. Um, so for example, if I had this position still open, uh, my equity be, will be based on my current, uh, in this case, loss. So if I close this position, then my new balance uh, will just adjust it to that. So that little loss I had, uh, I think it was 17 or so, whatever it was. So yes, so that then will will be shown on your balance. And then uh, with the other ones, uh, let's quickly go back and place an order. Uh, with the margin level, uh, it's basically it's a percentage uh, value based on the amount of equity versus the margin used. Okay, uh, so basically it is uh, any equity plus the margin you are currently using, um, and then you multiply that by, um, 100% and this will be the uh, option available or uh, the normal at the moment with my current position. Um, with the margin level, it's very important um, to have a quick look in at this number, at this percentage, because um, once you see your margin level at 100% or lower, you can't place any more trades, okay? So that basically means you're gonna be a margin call. So you have two options of you either uh, close your any of your position that you currently have uh, in the market, or you just simply deposit more money into your account. Um, if you don't do this, well, what's going to happen with uh, in this case with CFI um, every Friday, uh, basically, um, if your position is still on margin call, um, we will have to basically close out the position uh, automatically um, for you. 
And then also, um, let's say there's a low volatility in the market and the market goes against you. Once the margin level reaches 50%, basically all your position is gonna get closed out automatically, okay? And uh, it will start from the biggest position to the smallest one, but that will happen when the margin level reaches 50%, okay? Uh, it is basically um, to just uh, a, a way that the platform MT5 has to protect yourself. But just bear that in mind, when you see your margin level before 100%, uh, that basically means you're in margin call and you will either have to, you know, adjust it. Either you deposit more money, you just close one of your positions that you have, okay? So yeah, just bear that in mind because otherwise you won't be able to open any more trades. Uh, then uh, let's move on with the uh, other uh, option you have here, which is exposure. Uh, this window simply just give you an exposure, exposure that you currently have in your market. So in my previous example, I already have a uh, euro dollar. So it will show me uh, my exposure based on that particular trade. Uh, then we have history. Uh, in here is basically, and uh, let me ex expand this a bit more. Um, you can see basically all the trades that you have made or placed in your account uh, since day one and with all the information. Um, as you can see here, uh, what was the symbol? Um, this is the ticket number. Uh, this is very important because sometimes, uh, let's say for example, uh, you are speaking to support uh, about a particular trade that you had um, and then obviously they're gonna ask you for the ticket number. Uh, this is the number here. So just make sure um, if that ever comes to that, is you got that number. Um, then as you can see here, the price, uh, you have any stop loss or any take profit would be here as well. The timing, date, um, and then any profit or loss that you may have made for that particular trade. And we basically show, sure. then also uh, you would like to get this uh, in, on an Excel file, you can do so as well. You can just give you the option here. Um, if you go to report and then you, you have it here, okay? So uh, yeah, you have that. So you can also analyze any, um, let's say any losing trade that you have maybe uh, for your trading strategy, you wanna make sure what you did wrong um, in that, for that particular trade. So you have all that information here as well, okay? Um, and then uh, with the next, uh, Tab is basically uh, the new tab, uh, which is uh, this is something new that we have here at uh, CFI. So basically, uh, we have uh, you know clients of ours. Basically, uh, what we have is um, a trading tool that we provide for free to our clients, uh, which is called Trading Central. And in here, you have all the uh, news feed basically that is happening uh, at the moment. Uh, you can see here. And then if you're interested in this, say, for example, with the Euro and the Japanese chain, just double click. And then you have all the analysis uh, for that particular instrument, okay? So as you can see here, this is a chart analysis. Uh, here are the comments, uh, all the support and resistance levels, uh, and also uh, well, all, the, all the information as well, okay? Uh, also, uh, this is uh, what you can see in the platform, but if you go to your portal, uh, you will have a more extensive um, analysis as well for every single instrument, pretty much, okay? And you also have the Trading Central TV, which is a live TV that is basically um, telling you everything that is currently happening in the market. Uh, with the next step is uh, the mailbox, um, it's, uh, you know, um, with the MD5, is, every time you log in, sometimes it's give you like a welcome for the first time. Uh, it's not really much you can see here any important stuff, but you know, you still have the option. Um, then you have the next tab, which is the calendar, um, economic calendar window. And um, here, uh, obviously with us, uh, with the trade center, you also have that calendar as well on your portal, but you already got it here established in your um, platform. So anything uh, that is happening for that particular day, uh, you will see it here, you can see. Uh, this is what is gonna basically, what's happening tomorrow, what's happening as well on Friday. And also you wanted to see what happened the previous day as well, you can see it here. Okay, so this is an economic calendar. 
Um, then with other tabs, not really that uh, relevant. Uh, obviously, if you go any VPS, it would show here. If you got any expert advisor, you would see it here. And then with the journal, um, basically with the journal, it's like a little bit of history of everything that's happening in your account. So every time you log in or every time you log out, uh, it would show here. Any trade that you place, it will also show here, okay? Even the those orders that you canceled as well. Uh, that were not like depending orders. Um, it will also be shown on here, okay? Um, and then uh, that is basically it uh, with the MT5. Just one last thing before uh, we are done with this uh, webinar. Um, if you have two, um, let's say two accounts, one demo account, one live account, and you obviously, let's say this is a demo account, but then I wanna go and look in, into my other account. Um, well, there's an option here that with view, let's go navigator. Uh, if you click there, you can see here uh, as well, obviously if you've got any expert advice, it will also be shown here. Uh, you also have the indicators for, as well shown here. But uh, yeah, in this case, with the second type of account, if you just want to log into that one, you simply double click. Um, obviously, this will already be automatically uh, saved. So click OK, and then it will take you to your uh, other account. OK, so you'll have to go back and put all the login details again with the, probably a different password, uh, with the server and all that. So once you do it once, uh, it will be already kind of be saved in your uh, navigator uh, window. And then you can simply just double click, select okay, and that's it, okay? So that is nice and simple. Um, okay, and also guys, I uh, don't know if you have any questions. Uh, I've been looking at the chat windows, nothing so far. I don't know, also if you wanna know anything about um, maybe having an account with CFI, you don't have one already, or any information about um, in, about trading in general, uh, you can always uh, contact us as well, uh, either by email or by giving us a call. And also if you'd like uh, to speak to me as well, I'm more than happy to do so. You simply uh, give us a call or um, you can, um, as for my email address, I'm more than happy to uh, provide that as well, or any of my colleagues as well, you ask them to, okay? So, yes, yeah, so let's see if there's any questions. Okay, so it seems that uh, everything has been, um, has been very clear. Um, it's all good now. So, okay, perfect. So it has been a pleasure once again and have all a good uh, evening and for some of you, good afternoon as well. Goodbye.